Next week is my last week of cosmetology school. I feel dang good and I'm really excited for what's to come next. Really take things to the next level. I'm really proud of myself for completing all the hours that I did. 1500 is not nothing, okay? That is a lot of time that you have to invest in. And I'm just proud of myself for clocking in every other day, getting in those hours. A piece of advice for anyone who's interested in entering the cosmetology field and they can't get away from the fact that they gotta do cosmetology hours at a school. I just wanna say, remember what you're doing this for. You're not just doing this to kill time. You're doing this because this will soon become your profession. And everything I learned in beauty school thus far, I think I'm able to apply that to my everyday life and become just a better human, not just a better stylist. My experience was definitely a challenging one. It challenged my way of thinking. It challenged my way of living. It challenged the way I see things. When I walked into Empire Beauty School, I was a mess. I was sad. I was depressed. I felt really lonely. And I felt like I had no one. I just knew how much I wanted to be licensed. And where I was in my life feeling low like that, I just felt like, you know what, this would be a good opportunity for me to reinvent myself. This would be a good opportunity for me to just start over. I had lost a lot of friends, cut off a lot of family members that were toxic to my life so suddenly, and I wasn't expecting it. I'm not crying, these are just happy tears. <laughs> now that I'm done with school, I think it's really time for me to become the person that I always wanted to be. And I may have been afraid to be that woman and be that girl, but I'm not afraid anymore. I wanna love my life. I wanna love what I do and I wanna love people. So I'm just embracing everything. And I'm, I'm really proud of myself. That's number one, is I'm proud myself because I really thought I wasn't gonna make it the journey is finally coming to an end it's been a great experience to just be done and say I did it and I think the biggest thing wasn't me being done with school it was more so how people reacted towards me once I was finishing up it's like I had to cut a lot of people out of my life I had to cut a lot of people off a lot of people were acting, you know, just so different with me. I just had to let them go out of my life because they couldn't come with me. Gotta keep them squares about your circle. That's what I had to learn. Sometimes you gotta cut your finger to save your hand. Don't know what that means. That's that game plan, which pretty much is saying Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Not because you want to, but because you have to. It's people switching it up on me. Switching it up. My like, dang. I thought you would be happy for me. I don't really look at other people for approval anymore. So I don't care if people are happy for me or not. It's just like, I just got to be happy with myself, you know? I just don't care about someone else's congratulations. Congratulate yourself. Because not everyone's going to give you that. You know what I mean? Not everyone is going to give you that congratulations. That doesn't mean you don't deserve it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be clapping for yourself. If you clap for your damn self, that's how I see it. I clap for myself all the time. <laughs> As, uh, beauty school has definitely been a journey. My next journey in life is definitely gonna be an interesting one. I am prepared for the best and the worst. I'm prepared for anything, any adversity, any challenges. I am ready for the challenge. Give it to me, Wakanda forever. I am so ready, Malon Salon is ready. My name is Malon. That is my name, Malon, Malon. 
it's French. So y'all keep calling me Milan, just know you're not saying it right. Milan is the American way. The real name is Malone. Malone. I'm not, this is so illegal. Wow, and this person just cut me off. Well, I am breaking the law, so 